Well, you filmed this bit while I'm now, is that? Well, I say it's. Uh, so that was the mess room. That's the mess room, is it? Yeah. Let's have a look. It's in there. Oh, yeah. That'd be yeah. my kitchen, to be honest with you. Yeah. Lovely old boat, isn't it? This is the last, this is the last uh, well, trailer to be built in last off, isn't it? Well, it's the last sidewinders, yeah. Yeah, sidewinders, that's right. Yeah, yeah. The, the engine was built low stuff. It's an AK diesel engine. Yeah. Brilliant stuff. Yeah, you can come down and cruise combination. That'd be fun. <laughs> You can smell the diesel, can't you? Yeah, I like Lincoln's, especially now everything's closed. Yeah. Yeah, 10 to the 11 crew have down here. Oh, yeah. That's the Chief Engineer's <laughs> cabin. That's, that's oh, this one? Yeah, Chief Engineer's cabin. Yeah. That's still a fair size, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Then they eight the crew had bunk each in this area. Got the heater in there. Yeah. And then the that's the chief mate's cabin over that side. The heating down here is diesel. Oh yeah. I bet it's lovely and warm in there though, isn't yeah. it? When they were saying it's all... Yeah, I mean, in the old days they would have had a pot belly stove down here. Yeah. God, but what's it, about 11 men crew in this? Yeah, crew, 11 crew in this whole yeah. yeah, these went to sea for 12 days at a time. God, I bet it's hard work, isn't it? Yeah, two days in port. I see you got someone living on board. What? I see you got someone living on board there. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> on radio there. Brilliant. Yeah, you come back in the summer order because the engine is still in working order on here. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I say, at the can't see anything because we've got covered up there. Fair size boat, isn't it? Oh, yeah, these are, yeah, these are standard size boats. That's your wine, you've got winding gear there, that winds up. That goes through to the big trawl winch on the floor. Oh, yeah. And that's your headed tank for your diesel. Great stuff. That's engine. magnificent. Yeah, AK diesel. Lowest yeah. Engine. That's the engine. What's this, a five cylinder? Is it? Yeah, five cylinder, 500 horsepower. Oh, what? They're about 10 knots. What do this weigh? What's that about? Like about 140 tonnes? Um, 140 tonnes, this, this vessel weigh or something? Like yeah, that? just a, no, it's only about 110, I think. Is it 110, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah you've got two listed generators for electricity oh, here, and that's yeah. your switchboard over there. Incredible, isn't it? That's the engineer's workstation. That used to be his little fold up seat here where he used to sit. Oh. <laughs> with the old telegraph. Oh, brilliant. Quite a bit. It's a little bit bigger than the Liddy Eva. Yeah. Uh, um, oh, yeah. Engine room. Yeah, I mean, she had over a million pounds spent on her. She's alright now, and she we, we don't get nothing spent on this one. No. <coughs> we're on that side. As we've got loaded women. Oh, yeah, diesel, yeah. Pump, we're pumping the bilges over this side. Video enjoyed up next year. Look, this is launched back in 1961, wasn't it? This yeah, 61, yeah, started fishing in 62. How long did it go on for fishing? Uh, so About 20 odd years? Yeah, well, this one only fished on 1975, then it was converted into an oaring standby. Uh, that's right, yeah, I heard yeah. something about that. Yeah, that's why it's two names. Min Carl is the fishing name, Puppet Merlin is the. Min Carl, that's, that's an island, isn't it? Yeah, something? they're off the Silly Isles where uh, they go. That's, that's it, yeah. you got all your. <coughs> oh, what's this? All your ballast pumps are there. That's your heat exchanger, so obviously that's the fresh water from the engine goes oh, in there. Yeah. The, and the cold water inside is actually from salt water. So Excellent. That's your lube oil tank, your compressors for your air cylinders. The size of them are massive, isn't they? Yeah. Well, it's one, compressed, air start, compressed air started engine. These are all your decompression valves. You I'll see you. Yeah, turn your them. flywheel and line everything up. That's your main start and handle, that one there. Open that air valve and pull that handle. I see. And you've got your salt water line here, you open that before you start the engine with this one here. Just open that salt water valve. Oh, that one there, yeah. Yeah, and that's say the salt water's going in there to cool the, the actual fresh water Oh, well, it's still the same, aren't they? Yeah, the, the fresh water pipes are inside. Oh, pipes. sorry, yeah. So it's just, okay. that's what they call a heat exchange. Nice one. And your lube Two uh, ten ton, these are your fuel tanks. Ten ton here, ten ton there. And you transfer up to your daily Fantastic. service tank up top. It's a lovely old vessel, this. Yeah. Everything else is locked up now. Yeah, your little workbench. Yeah. Yeah, it's 
so a comprehensive work area. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the merchant area, you got lathes in the Oh yeah, you're on the merchant area. Yeah, I was on big ships. I went, like, it was a couple of weeks ago, I went to uh, Norfolk and um, the Norfolk uh, Norwich uh, Aviation Museum. Oh yeah. I, got to, I went on the Vulcan. Yeah, oh and yeah. I, and, I, and, I, and he was telling me that that hold 40 tonne of aviation fuel, yeah, 20 tonne in each ring. Yeah, when they done the Falklands War, they didn't think they would got to make it, did they? That's, they just about yeah, that's a, that's a bit of a... Complex that was like getting yeah, getting there, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, transfer and fuel and that. Yeah, that's a that's a major operation that was. Yeah, we'll come back today. It comes up the engine. <laughs> oh, <laughs> cover up the funnel. Yeah, so I'm glad I'm glad I keep these things things oh, are going. That's all the info on them in cars. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Colour coding for all the different pipes, so you know every ship in the world has the same, yeah. same colour. These are the firing days, so if you come down next year, we'll have a list here to tell you what days, oh, I see. What days the engines are running. That's the Skipper Charlotte toilet there. That's, that's for last, this year, so it's too late. Oh, I see, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's the Skipper Charlotte toilet. Yeah, even, even this little room is quite a big room, isn't it? Yeah, this was the Brilliant old stuff. Capitals. All the different flags in there, signal flags. Oh, this is the, uh, the bridge, yeah. the real house. Oh, excellent. Cool. Yeah, I'll just take it off the telegraph. <laughs> <laughs> The not with this. Oh, no. Now, this is the main part of the boat, really, isn't it? This. Yeah. Oh, this radio system. Still run this boat uh, over sea at all? No. I, no. Sea I know you do a Liddy either, that yeah. good over sea. Yeah, she had a million pound heritage car. So. Uh, yeah, I did hear, hear that they did. Yeah, she's Fantastic, this. I'm glad they come on the bridge anyway. Yeah, well, half of it's fallen over. <laughs> <laughs> a bit, that's a bit choppy out there, so yeah. Fantastic. There was a lot bigger wheel on here originally. It was it? Yeah. Chain steering. The chains come off the oh, back. Oh, I see. Oh, oh, you can see the actual... Yeah, went direct, uh, direct to the rudder. Yeah. yeah. That's where you obviously see your compass up here, steer by. The compass, oh yeah. That little... Uh, <laughs> get out of the right way. That's fair. I heard there used to be about 50 or 60 of these vessels. Go out to sea. Well, it was uh, 130 in the... 130, was it? In the 60s, yeah. Did it, did it ever go to Grimsby? Because they used to, be, used to do a lot of... Well, they may have gone up there now and again. Yeah. But, yeah. Fantastic the bow there. But that's it, what I can tell you though. So oh, no, I, I'm, I must appreciate it, to be honest with you. Yeah, just be careful coming down. Yeah, I'll, I'll go down backwards. Yeah, you should do, I don't take it. <laughs> oh, this one. Yeah, I'm used to come downstairs like that at work, so... Oh, yeah. yeah, well, I'm going to take that. So you don't go downstairs. <laughs> yeah. Let's that. Andy, I don't know that's hard, but the other line's on, so it's got to be Oh, yeah. Excellent. That's it, that's all I can show you. No, I, have to, I, I much appreciate it. Let's close that gate because I see somebody else. Yeah. Yeah, yeah something, something towards you. No, that's all right. Are you sure? Yeah, wait till next year. Oh, yeah. good man. Yeah. What's, your, what's your name, Tim, is it? No, I'm on Peter. Oh, you're yeah, Peter, Tim's are you? My opposite. Oh, there you have it. Um, today I was in Lowestoft uh, to go on board of the uh, Minnow Carlo. Um, got there to, only to find out it was closed, so this would be a little bit of a short video today. Um, but I got there and there's some, some lad there who uh, 
he was very kind to let me on board to some some parts of the Minno Carlo and uh, so I did get a look around the engine room and what have you there so uh, so I did all that and uh, went on board only part of it went on the, uh, the, 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 real house, the real house the bridge um, down in the engine room and uh, so so yeah I much appreciate to that that, uh, that, that man who, uh, who let me on board so that, that was good of him to do that so I'm going to go back to that one I'm going to go back to the Minno Carlo probably in the summertime when it's open again or probably Easter <laughs> um, now the Minno Carlo has um, that was a part of a, a fleet of probably over a hundred um, trawlers at the time. Um, uh, the Minnow Carlo was, was built by Brook Marine here in Lowestoft. That was the last uh, trawler to be built in Lowestoft at the time. Um, yeah, she had three sister ships, or two more sister ships, sorry. Um, uh, it had a crew of 11, 11 man crew on board. Um, what else can I tell you about it? Uh, you see, I went down in the engine room, quite a big area. Uh, no, no, the Minno Carlo um, is a sidewinder trawler, and it used to fish for like cod, uh, place, um, skate. Um, there's a lot more fish that do fish for, but I can't remember what it was now. But they do fish for the, for what the fish I just said, um, and uh, yeah, that's that's that's. Um, I thought it was going to be a disappointing day, you know, not to get on to the uh, the Minno Carlo, but. In the end, he let me on board, and uh, like I say, I didn't get round to do to get every part of the uh, the, the actual trawler. And um, not to worry, it's always next time, isn't there? And um, I can't think of anything else really about the Minnow Carlo. And uh, it's nice to take a little trip to Lowestoft, and uh, and it, it was all right. It's been uh, been good. Um, yeah, and that's it really. That's, um, so in the summertime we're going to come back to Minno Carlo just to uh, take a look at that and um, come back to it. So uh, on that note really, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to hit the like button and also the uh, subscribe button. And also the uh, little notif notification bell. So if you uh, press that button too, it will tell you that one of my videos is out there anyway. Um, yeah, thanks for watching really.